Tonight, the preacher critically injured in the deadly church shooting in Antioch shares his terrifying experience. He remains in the hospital, but News Channel 5's Matthew Torres says he's trying to stay strong for his family and the community. On the other hand, he is still shocked. He just doesn't understand why this type of violence would even happen when he says there were no enemies or any type of hostility against the church. Fragile, exhausted, but hopeful. Joey Spann may be in a wheelchair, but his faith is what keeps him strong. I just trust God. I'm so thankful. I think that's why there's no resentment. The Burnett Chapel Church of Christ minister says he has no hate towards the man accused of shooting him and several members of his church. It's, I don't have any hard feelings toward him. I don't think about him. But he's feeling plenty of pain. Police said Emmanuel Sampson, a man that actually used to attend the church, shot him in the chest and hand and then opened fire on the congregation. Span was already in the lobby area. I threw this container at him when he stepped in the door. He shot me in the chest. Felt like an air gun. The glass around us popping, bullets coming. and He remembers hearing the gunshots from the parking lot that killed Melanie Crow Smith. The chaos would continue inside the sanctuary. When I fell down the other side, and my wife raised up. She cried out, you know, my name, just yelling, Joey, Joey. And, and I said, uh, honey, uh, he's killed me. His wife, Peggy, was shot too. And uh, uh, I said, uh, uh, I'm dying and I'm sorry. Injured and unable to move, Span stayed on the ground until the shooting stopped. He thought he was going to die. Really thought. I'd already died and that now I was I was doing passing over. But two days later, he's doing better and finally reunited with his wife. Span knows he has a long journey ahead, but the shooting won't stop this man of faith. I'm, I'm just so thankful to be alive. He, his wife and three other victims remain here tonight in stable condition. He says he did hear about Samson being a former churchgoer, but couldn't elaborate more because of this investigation. Because of this, he says there needs to be a discussion to make some changes to the church to improve safety and security. Reporting live outside Vanderbilt University Medical Center, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Matthew, thank you.